ankle. I heard you made it to Acadia by yourself. That takes some stones. Is it rare for someone to travel to Acadia alone? You're damn right it is. There's all manner of nastiness in the fog. Most folks are content to cower behind the hull in Far Harbor. But not you. I appreciate the compliment. Believe me, I don't give them unless they're earned. You've got more spine than most of the folks living here. Maybe we can help each other out. I'm tired of waiting around for something interesting to happen. Ain't getting any younger, that's for damn sure. Thing is, I was born and raised here. I know this island front to back. I know what's in the fog and how to deal with it. Let me run with you. I could help you find your way around. Teach you what I know. Best of all, you won't have to drink alone. Are you sure? I don't exactly live the sadest of lives. Thank God for that. I was afraid I'd die of boredom. Sounds like a good offer. I accept. All right, then. Food in front, dock in back. The bait shop. Guns, guns, and more guns. I'll be straight with you. It's never easy to ask anyone on this island for help, much less a stranger. But I've got a responsibility to these people, and I have a job for you, if you're up for it. Besides, I know you're tougher than you look. What exactly do you need help with? We get our drinking water from a purifier not far outside of town. We had a bad storm not long before you got here, and it must have damaged the fog condensers that protect the road to the purifier. I sent Howard Dunbar out to fix them. He was out there when the Mirelurks hit us, and I'm, I'm afraid they might have got him, too. I was hoping you might go have a look. If the worst happened, maybe you could get those fog condensers back online. If you're up to it, just head south out of town. It's paying work, of course. I wouldn't ask a stranger to stick their neck out on our behalf, Unless I was willing to pay a fair share for it. What exactly are these fog condensers? How do they work? Well, I'm no engineer, but the way it was explained to me, each fog condenser pulls in the air around it and then condenses it into liquid. The point being, the fog doesn't get past them. They make a barrier that protects the town. No fog means that all the nasty things living in it stay in it. They don't venture out too often. The fogs are home, I guess. The fog condensers eat up a lot of power, but we've got a wind farm that takes care of that. As long as the turbines stay charged, we stay safe. Am I going to need any tools or parts if I have to make these repairs on my own? The fog condensers need their power modules replaced, but Howard took the only spares we had. Either way, you're going to have to find him first. All right, I'll head out there now. Good. Our water supply won't last much longer. <laughs> 